Welcome to the 2014 12 KTRV Golf Skills Challenge brought to you by Neil Allen Fine Jewelry in Nampa. As usual, we're out here at beautiful Eagle Hills Golf Course, the original golf course in Eagle, and we're at hole number five as we've been for many, many years. This is your 13 of the show. We hope 13 is a lucky one because we've got a $25,000 RV from Happy Camper to give away this year for a hole in one. So we'd sure love to give a few of those away this year because I know the guys down at Happy Camper would love to outfit you with a brand new RV. So how does this show work? Well, first of all, it's a skills challenge. So we're gonna have four different shots, a tee shot, a chip shot, a sand shot, and a putt. Each shot, each person takes the shot and can score points. So the highest point total moves on to the next round. We have six first round matches, then the top two scores will buy into the semifinals. So there's some incentive in this first round to score as high as you possibly can. And again, we're here at Eagle Hills number five. Eagle Hills a full service golf course. If you need help with your game, come out and see Kyle and the guys out here. Talk to Dave, they'll get you set up, whether it's lessons, whether you need equipment, whatever it is that you might need, it's all here at Eagle Hills. And a great restaurant experience with the 18-1 restaurant. Everything's right here at Eagle Hills. You don't need to go anywhere else. This course is in great shape this year, and it's really gonna be interesting to see how our players do. Now we've got three or four teams that have won this event before, so it's gonna be stiff competition this year. When we come back, we're gonna meet our teams that compete in the first match of the 2014-12 KTRV Golf Skills Challenge. Brought to you by Neil Allen Fine Jewelry in Nampa. The 12 KTRV Golf Skills Challenge, presented by Neil Allen Fine Jewelry, is brought to you by Neil Allen Fine Jewelry. When a personal jeweler matters, happy camper. The biggest little trailer dealer in Idaho, Wholesale Auto. We don't care about your past, only your future. Western Heating and Air Conditioning. Turn to the experts. And by Eagle Hills Golf Course, Eagle's original golf course. Today's tee shot and hole-in-one prize is brought to you by Happy Camper, the biggest little trailer dealer in Idaho. A hole-in-one on today's show could win this beautiful travel trailer. It's a Flagstaff Super Light by Forest River. This awesome interior features Corian counters, hardwood cabinets, and a queen bed. Some of the exterior features are an outdoor barbecue area, a non-white exterior surface, and frameless tinted windows. And at under 5,000 pounds, even with the slide out, this trailer can be pulled by almost any pickup. It's Happy Camper on Chinden Boulevard. And our first team competing today, representing wholesale auto dealers, one of our great sponsors this year, John Johnson, Mike Scott, Bob Bradley, and Bill Curry. And our second team, representing Lakeview Golf Course Pro Shop, will be Ryan Roll. Jeremy Powers, Jim Correa, and Gene Hull. All right, let's get started here today. Bob Bradley's gonna lead us off for wholesale. 172 yards is what we measured it. It's got this started right of the flag. It's not coming back. Let's see if it stays dry. All right, and no score there for Bob. He's outside of 50 feet, and that complements of our new measuring crew this year from Cheerleaders Grill and Bar, just off of Capitol Boulevard and University, the entrance to Ann Morrison Park. All right, John Johnson, let's get a score on the board here. What are you hitting today, John? Seven. Seven iron. All right, John's got this going right to left, headed up towards the trap. And he's going to find that bunker. We'll see if that's inside 50 feet. No measure. And it is not. Outside, no score there for John Johnson. Yeah, All right, Mike Scott now. He's got a 7-iron also. That seems to be the club of choice right now. 172 yards. Mike's got this going right at the flag, just a little bit left of flag. Let's see if he's got the right, oh, and it went into the water, little short. Caught that a little fat and chunky. 
No score there for Mike Scott. Let's see if Bill Curry can get wholesale auto dealers on the board here in the tee shot for the RV from Happy Camper. Bill's got that sent right of the flag, trying to bring it back, trying to draw that thing in. It is on the surface, and we will have a score. There you go. And 38 feet on the nose for Bill Curry gets three points for wholesale auto dealers. All right, now time for Lakeview Golf Course. The representatives of the pro shop out there are going to start off. Jim Correa is going to take the first crack. Win yourself an RV, Jim. All right, Jim's got this going at the flag. Does he have enough distance? Oh, I thought I heard that hit wood. I believe that's short and in the water. All right, now it's time for one of our few South Paws that will compete in this tournament this year. Gene Hull, the second shot here for the Lakeview Pro Shop. Looks like plenty of club tailing off a little bit to the left towards that trap. Oh, and that one was short too. I thought he had plenty of club there. There's some wind up high today, knocking these balls down. No score there for Gene. All right, Jeremy Powers now going to step into that tee box. Trying to get this to go right to left. It's coming back. Not exactly sure where that is, but we'll find out. Get our cheerleaders measuring crew on the task. And 32 feet, one inch for Jeremy. That scores four points for Lakeview. All right, let's see if Ryan Roll now can step up and add to that four point total. Tough wind way up high today. It's really knocking these balls down. Gets a good crack at it. That's definitely got the distance. Let's see if it turns back into the flag. It's hanging out to the right. We'll have to see where that ended up. Again, the wind just banged that thing down. And 47-5 there for Ryan Roll gets one point for the Lakeview team and a total of five for this event. Well, after our Happy Camper RV tee shot, the team from Lakeview takes a slim lead five to three over our wholesale auto dealers team. We'll be back with a chip shot right after this on the 12 KTRV Golf Skills Challenge. Today's Chip Shot is brought to you by Neil Allen Fine Jewelry, when a personal jeweler matters. Welcome back to the 2014 12 KTRV Golf Skills Challenge, brought to you by Neil Allen Fine Jewelry. Time now for our Neil Allen Chip Shot. Today the shot's gonna be from about 82 yards downhill to a little bit of a slope back towards the hole. So let's see how our golfers do with skill number two. All right, Lakeview will start our second event. Jim Correa going to take the first crack again here. And a little noise in his backswing there. Let's see if he kicks that off the hill down to the hole. A little bit long and left. And for Jim Correa, 49 feet, 2 inches, good for one point for Lakeview. All right, Gene Hull now with the second shot for the Lakeview Golf Course Pro Shop. That one's gonna come up short. Let's see if it stays up. And it does. Let's see if we're within 50 feet. And our cheerleader's grill and bar measuring crew says no measurement there for Gene. All right, Jeremy Powers got Lakeview on the board with that tee shot. So let's see if he can do the same here in our Eagle Hills chip shot. Good looking ball going right at the flag, little right. Let's see if it sits down. Very nice shot there by Jeremy Powers. And 11 feet, nine inches for Jeremy Powers. Good for eight points for Lakeview. All right, and hitting clean up, Ryan Rolls gonna try to add to the nine points already on the board in this round for Lakeview. Ryan taking a little lower angle right at the flag. Will it stop? Oh, a little bit long, rolls down that embankment and off the fringe. Well, just on the edge of the green. 
and 27 feet 3 inches for Ryan, good for 5 points, and a total of 14 in this event for Lakeview Golf Course Pro Shop. All right, wholesale auto dealers now, Bob Bradley needs to counter that 14. And that one's going to be short and probably outside the 50. And no score for Bob Bradley on that last shot. John Johnson's going to take the second shot here for wholesale. All right, John's got this headed left of the flag. Let's see if that embankment can help him. Again, that was a little long, rolls down off the fringe, but it should score some points. And 32-9 for John Johnson, good for four points for wholesale auto dealers. All right, Mike's got now for wholesale 82 yards to the flag. A little bit of a slope heading to that flag. Mike's got that way up in the air, right of the flag. Let's see if it stops down. Pretty much does just stop where it hits. Let's see what Mike scores there. And 20-11 there for Mike is going to get him seven points for wholesale. That's a total of 12 in this round. And Bill Corey with that final shot. Let's see if he gets on the right edge of that green. Just stays up out of the bunker. Let's see if that's within 50 feet. And 43 feet, one inch is there for Bill, and that will get him two points. And that is a total of 13 in this round for wholesale auto dealers. Well, that concludes our second event, the Neil Allen Chip Shot. Right now, Lakeview hangs on to that slim lead, 1916, over wholesale auto dealers. When we come back, it's time to get in the dirt take that sand shot and see who can get it closest to the flag today on the 12 KTRV Golf Skills Challenge. Today's sand shot is brought to you by Wholesale Auto. We don't care about your past, only your future. Welcome back to the 12 KTRV Golf Skills Challenge. Time now to move to our third event. We're going into the sand for the Wholesale Auto Dealer Sand Shot. Now it's time for these guys to test their metal. This one's gonna be coming out of the middle of the front bunker here at Eagle Hills number five. There's a little bit of an upslope, not much, maybe a little bit of left to right too. So let's see how the guys navigate the sand here at Eagle Hills. Okay, Wholesale's gonna start off the sand shot today. Bob Bradley. Coming out right at the flag, he gets it to stop down. Pretty good looking first shot there for Bob Bradley. And eight feet, three inches there for Bob. That's good for a score of nine points. Great start for wholesale auto dealers. Let's see if John could put this thing in the cup for 10 points. John punches that thing out, tries to get a little roll. It catches that slope and comes back, but it will score. And our Chur Leaders Grill and Bar measuring crew comes up with 18 feet, five inches, good for seven points. All right, Mike Scott now gonna try to add to that 16 point total so far. Mike gets under that pretty good. Did he get a little backspin on it? It rolls out, but it will achieve the goal of scoring some points. And 15, 11 there for Mike will get him eight points. Good job here so far by Wholesale. They are racking up the points. 24 so far in this event. And Bill Curry now going to take the final shot here for Wholesale Auto Dealers. Mighty whack at the ball right at the flag. Doesn't get it to spin back. But we'll add to that 24 point total. And 20 feet, one inch there for Bill Curry. Also will get seven for a total of 31 for this event. And Lakeview now, Jim Correa gonna step up. Everybody hitting from the same spot today. That must be the lucky spot because it worked pretty good for wholesale. And Jim comes out a little hot on that one into the back trap over Dan Widener, our cameraman's head. And no score there for Jim on that first shot. All right, Gene Hull now the lefty's gonna move it a little more to center of our circle today. 
stream comes out, doesn't get it up over that ridge, but it does sit down fairly well. That should score a nice score. And 16 feet, one inch there for Gene for a score of seven points for the Lakeview Golf Course Pro Shop. All right, Jeremy Powers now has already got 12 points on the day. Let's see if he can add to that total. Comes out, gets it up on top of the ridge. Will it hold? And it does. Good shot there by Jeremy Powers. And eight feet six inches by Jeremy is good for nine points for Lakeview. They have 16 in this round so far. And Ryan Roll now trying to get it inside six feet to pick up that big 10 points. They'll need it going into the putt. Gets it out, gets it up on top of the ridge, rolling it towards the hole. Good looking shot there by Ryan Roll. And three feet, nine inches for Ryan. That is good for the max score of 10. And Lakeview needed that 10 points. That gives them 26 for this event. Well, that concludes event number three, our wholesale auto dealer sand shot. And boy, what an effort by the wholesale auto dealers group today. They pulled into the lead 47-45 over our team from Lakeview. When we come back, it's time to putt for dough. It's all gonna come down to a 30-foot putt. Let's see how many guys can drop this thing in the jar right here on the 12 KTRV Golf Skills Challenge. Today's putt is brought to you by Western Heating and Air Conditioning. Turn to the experts. Well, it's time for our final event today on the 12 Golf Skills Challenge. Time now to putt. It always comes down, it seems like, to the putt for dough. And today that's brought to you by Western Heating and Air Conditioning. So it's time for the 30 footers. Let's see if we can drop a few in a row and get some bonus points. Right now, 47, 45, wholesale over Lakeview. So it's all coming down to the putt. Well, the old saying, drive for show and putt for dough, always seems to work out in the 12 KTRV Golf Skills Challenge. Jim Korea getting his ball set. Roughly 30 foot putt, inside 50 inches scores points. And Jim lags one up there pretty close. And 30 inches there for Jim is good for five points. Lakeview only behind by two coming into the putt. And Gene Hull now gonna try to add to the five Jim put on the board. It's a little hop out of that at the start. Got a little bumpy. Let's see if he's inside 50 inches. And 47 inches, good for a one point there for Gene. At least got him on the board. Total of six so far, halfway through this event. All right, Jeremy Power steps right up there, gives it a good wrap, rolls it towards it, not coming down, a little short. And 36 inches there for Jeremy, good for three points for Lakeview. All right, the last chance here, Ryan Roll sitting right now at nine points in this event. Gives it a good pop. That should be plenty to get it there. Is it gonna go in? Oh, he rolls it just over the left edge. A little less speed than that was in the cup. And 39 inches, good for three points there for Ryan. And a total of 12 in this skill for Lakeview. All right, Bob Bradley steps up first here for wholesale auto dealers. They only need 11 points to win. Good firm wrap, takes it up high, trying to get it to come down to the hole. Excellent effort there, perfect speed by Bob Bradley. And 12 inches there for Bob is good for eight points. All right, if John can get at least three on this shot, Wholesale auto sales, auto dealers, excuse me, wholesale auto dealers will advance. Boy, this is really firm. I think he went through the break and outside 50 inches. No score there for John Johnson. All right, Mike Scott gave Bob Bradley the line when he was getting ready to putt, so he thinks he knows exactly where to put this thing. Worked pretty good for Bob. Pretty good speed right at the hole. 
Oh, just underneath it. Great effort there by Mike Scott. And 16 inches there for Mike, seven points, and that seals the deal for wholesale auto dealers. Now, Bill, got it. the situation is here, the top two scorers get a buy into the semifinals, so we're shooting for a high point total now. Inside six inches scores 10 points. All right, Bill Curry sends it. I don't think he hit that hard enough to get it inside 50. It's gonna be close. And no score there for Bill Curry. A total of 15 in the event. It's enough to send wholesale auto dealers 6257 into the next round. Well, that concludes our Western heating and air conditioning putt. Boy, the guys from wholesale auto dealers did just enough to stay ahead of our team from the Lakeview Golf Course Pro Shop. 62-57 is our final score. All right, we're here now with our winning team from our first match in round one. Wholesale Auto Dealers pulls it out. And John, that was a, kind of a shaky start, a little bit uh, spooky on the tee shot, but you really came on at the end. Well, you know, thanks to these guys, we made it go. Um, yeah, a little nervous for the first show, but it was fun. And, you know, look at these guys pull through. Mike, you really had that uh, putt dialed in. You yeah, not was, only read it for you, but you read it for Bob, too. It was too. good, yeah. The putt was awesome. I always wanted it. Uh, how'd, you, how'd you know exactly where to hit that? I uh, just, just read the putt. Pretty good at reading putts. So. You played this hole a lot? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Enjoy it. Bob, good round today. You guys, uh, you scored a lot of points for your team. Really good effort. I was a shaky guy at the beginning, but uh, helped out a little bit at the end, and it's, uh, it's good to have a team. Yeah, well, that tee shot's not easy, is it, Bill? That's something to get your nerves started right off that, the bat. Definitely, yeah, that was a tough shot and uh, a little longer than you normally play it here. So. But you guys came out of the sand and did a tremendous job. Everything was clean coming out of the sand. We got a good team. All right, well, that concludes match number one, Wholesale Auto Dealers. We'll see if that 62 can get them a buy into the next round. We'll be back to close this thing up on the 12 KTRV Golf Skills Challenge. That concludes the first match in the 2014 12 KTRV Golf Skills Challenge, brought to you by Neil Allen Fine Jewelry. The team from Wholesale Auto Dealers is moving on to the next round. I don't think that 62 is going to hold up to get them a buy into the semifinals, but time will tell. Join us every week, Sunday night, 9 o'clock, right here on 12 KTRV for the 2014 12 KTRV Golf Skills Challenge, brought to you by Neil Allen Fine Jewelry. We'll see you next week. The 12 KTRV Golf Skills Challenge, presented by Neil Allen Fine Jewelry, is brought to you by Neil Allen Fine Jewelry, when a personal jeweler matters. Happy Camper, the biggest little trailer dealer in Idaho. Wholesale Auto, we don't care about your past, only your future. Western Heating and Air Conditioning, turn to the experts. And by Eagle Hills Golf Course, Eagle's original golf course.